taking an opportunity between storms here because I got a unique opportunity to show you my swell system at work from the very top to the bottom. Uh, this is a very small garden swell uh, in our zone one uh, showcase garden that we've been working on for the last year. And the sill's right here. I'm in Crocs and barefoot so I can walk through. So this sill is overflowing down into this swell. Again, this is a small swell. This isn't very deep, double inches, but it picks up all the water off the roof of the house and it overflows this sill right here. And as you can see, this sill certainly is overflowed. I'd say we had almost two inches of rain today. Um, that's filled this sill. This sill, or this uh, swell, we have a J hook in it. The water then eventually you see how passive it is i mean we have just had torrential rains uh several hours this morning and then just now for about 30 minutes and just how passive the water really is so we end sealed this so water's coming out the sill here and you can see it actually flowing right there weeping in the back cut to this first main swale this first main swale is about six feet wide and uh, I think it's about 170 feet long, if I remember right. And these three big sills, you're, as well as you're about to see now, combined hold about 26,000 gallons of water at full capacity, and they have exceeded that capacity. So we come along here. And that's, that sill right there is overflowing right now. So that water started either off that roof or that roof there, and it's now passively weeping through that sill down into the next swale. And I'll have to go around because of the fence, but I mean, here you can see, this is how passive it gets. This is, this is the water coming out of that swale right now, just passively running right down into the end and picking up the big swale. That swale's well over 200 feet. And it's picked up all the water that's overflowed from the cop swale. And it's also picked up all the water off of this big garage right here. In fact, there's still some, as you can see, running into it. We may get a lot more rain tonight, or this may be it. It depends on what happens to a, a thunderstorm that's to our southwest right now. But, uh, so this filled, we'll go around this way. Again, this is the big swale. Over 200 feet, six foot wide, over a foot deep, all the way out to the road. And you can see that's still working right there. This is really slippery through here, the mud at this spot, so I'm not going to walk through. I'm going to walk around, uh, but I'll, that's what will be next as I come around. So you can see this swell is definitely at capacity. It's actually back flooded a little bit into the inner swell behind it. This is exactly what we're looking for because we're in the rainy season now, but the dry season is coming. around here with all the trees booming they're loving this as long as we don't get any super strong hail or winds uh, nothing could be better than what we're getting right now honestly but here's this sill just now that swale is just at absolutely all it can handle and you can see water actually moving there a little bit but passively sheeting no erosion no erosion at all if you look at the water, this water coming out of it's clear, crystal clear. It's moving like a light little stream right now. So pacified, it's taking nothing with it. And we actually have the bottom swale full. Bottom swale full. And this bottom swale takes a lot to fill. We have to, there's so much catchment above it. And it has so little inner swell, we really have to exceed capacity of the two upper swells for it to full. 
But I have a feeling when I get down here, yep, we've, we've overflowed that sill. We've overflowed the sill. And I designed this so that it had basically a secondary emergency spillway on the end. So that if we did exceed what it could handle, instead of pushing water to our neighbors, we do exactly what we're doing. So this is great. We're seeing the whole system work here. And then all this water that's here now is less water than would have been here, not more. And eventually, I've done all I can, and there it goes. The car's come by, hooking itself down the ditch, off to uh, the ocean somewhere, some way. But, look at those cars pass. As you can see, we've held as much of it as we can handle. Can't hold anymore right now. This is it. But again, I want you to look. Okay, this is coming through the third sill now. The water's moving. You can see it moving. Look how clear it is. It's absolutely crystal clear. It's taking almost nothing with it. The leaves are barely moving. A couple of leaves are floating. Most of the leaves are standing still. That's how you know we've done this right. Even with this kind of a torrential rain. Passive water. Quiet water. Let me walk in here slowly. Good day, guys. Hopefully that storm to our southwest, it's uh, packing some hail and uh, tornadic activity is going to go south of us like they say. I don't need any more rain today. This is why we put them in, though. This is why we put them in. 26,000 gallons just infiltrated that would have otherwise been gone down the road. How much longer will it last because of that? That's what permaculture and earthworks are all about. You see the food forest booming. Wish you well. Stay safe this weekend, my friends. More severe weather on the way for a, a lot of the other, rest of you guys. Take care.